But there's just one thing. When light passes through the Earth's atmosphere, it bends by refraction ever so slightly, causing stars to look slightly lower in the sky than they actually are. The degree of this effect can vary, but it generally means that if you take a latitude measurement from the stars that are about midway up the dome of the sky, you'll be about a mile further south um, of the actual latitude. Less so for stars higher in the sky, more so for those lower. So how did the surveyors place the centre of the Avebury Henge exactly at the 4 sevenths latitude? It's actually Silbury Hill and the sanctuary at the start of the West Kennet Avenue, about a mile further, further south, that would have been measured as being at this latitude just as the Great Pyramid appears when measuring in this way to be at 30 degrees latitude, a third of the way from equator to pole, but is actually slightly further south, while uh, the site of Heliopolis, which itself t claimed to be a site of the primordial mound, was the actual site of, uh, on the 30 degrees latitude line. An attractive romantic notion might be that the oracle itself provided the, connect, the correction with the god nodding to affirm while being carried around in his boat the selected spot for his sanctuary. How else could the latitude measurement have corrected the refraction deviation? Another possibility is suggested by the presence in texts describing the stretching the cord ceremony of observations of not only the so circumpolar region of the sky, but also the accurate measurement of sun angles from shadows. Let's take a closer look. First, the texts describe the stretching of the measuring cord around pegs hammered into the ground. The text then describes closely watching the circumpolar stars. But then, in um, uh, an example from the Temple of Edfu, we see a text which additionally describes the observation of a shadow that is, uh, as the text says, long in perfect fashion, wide in perfect fashion, high and low in accurate fashion. As has been recognised, this shows that uh, measuring sun inclination angles also played a role. The angle is found easily as a function of the length of the shadow to the height of the obelisk that throws this shadow. We've also seen how sun elevation at noon at the equinoxes gives you your latitude if you subtract the angle from 90 degrees. Because of refraction, there is again deviation, but this time it results in your selected site being further north of the true latitude. But if you find the halfway between your sun-derived latitude too far north and your pole-derived latitude too far south, then you'll be getting much closer to fi finding a spot on the true latitude that you're looking for. This may explain how Avebury and Karnak, and indeed Heliopolis, were so accurately placed at the right latitudes.